today I will share with you how to create and publish your first virtual tour completely for free using the Clio Panel app. So let's get started. The first step is to download the virtual tour photos to your phone album from the camera app. So open whichever camera app you are using. In this example, I am using the Insta360 app. Select the photos you want to use in your virtual tour. Tap export to phone and wait for all the photos to download to your phone album and then they are ready to upload to the Clio Pano app. The next step is to create a Clio Pano account. So to do this, open the Clio Pano app, tap create account, enter your full name. In this example, I will put test user 3, enter your email address, enter a password and tap create account. Go to your email, check the inbox and junk mail for your verification code, enter it here and tap verify. Now your account will be created. To create a new virtual tour, Tap New Tour, enter a tour name, enter a tour description. Since this tour is only a single floor, I will leave Add Floors off and tap Create. To add virtual tour photos, tap Browse Photos. Select the photos you wish to add to your tour. and tap add and this will load the tour editor. Here you can see all the photos in the tour and tap the photos to switch between them. When you tap a photo it will load the photo with the current center point. If you want to change the center point just drag on the screen to choose a new center point, tap the center button and now the center point is updated. So now if I switch back to scene one, it will load this view as the new center point. To reorder the scenes, hold down on the scene you wish to move and drag it to the new position. And now your scenes are reordered. To rename a scene, go to the scene you want to rename, tap rename and change the name. In this example, I will call this one entrance and tap rename and I will change this one to lounge. The next step is to add hotspots. To do this, drag your finger on the screen to position the pointer where you want to add a hotspot. Hold down your finger on the screen. There are two types of hotspots, a floor hotspot and an area hotspot. A floor hotspot is like this one which goes on the floor. and an area hotspot is one that transitions to another room. So in this example, this is going outside. So I will hold down my finger here, select area hotspot and select the outside scene. Next, you can add text overlay. So drag your finger on the screen to position the pointer where you want to add text overlay. Go to text in the toolbar, type the text. Here you can customize the text. So I'll make it bold, enable drop shadow and a outline. Tap save. And now there is text overlay 
in the 360 photo. Next, you can add an info spot. So to do this, I'll position the pointer where I want to add the info spot. And in this example, I will point it at the TV to say it includes premium TV channels. In the toolbar, I will go to the info button. I will write the title TV. And in the information, I'll write includes premium TV channels, tap add. And now when I go to preview and tap on the information hotspot, it will bring up the information that we wrote. The next step is to add color. So to do this, tap the color button. Here you can drag the slider from one to 10 to change the intensity of the color. Tap apply to apply the color to this one photo or tap apply all to apply the color to all the photos or tap cancel to come out the color mode. In this example, I will tap apply all and now the color has been applied to all the photos in the tool. The next step is to remove the tripod legs from the bottom of the 360 photo. So to do this, look down at the bottom. In the toolbar, tap the remove button. This will zoom in on the tripod legs. Make a selection over the tripod legs. Let go and the tripod legs will magically disappear. To undo the selection, tap undo and then you can do it again. Here, you can tap onto the next photo and continue. And this is the fastest way to remove the tripod legs from all the 360 photos in your tool. If for whatever reason you wish to reset a photo back to its original state, tap the reset button and it will reset all the hotspots color and everything else. The next step is to add branding. So to do this, tap the tool name. In the branding section, tap create brand. Add your logo. Write your company name. You can add a description about your company. Add an address, add an email, phone number, and website. Tap save, tap save again. And now the brand is added to the tool. And if you wish to see your brand logo at the bottom of the 360 photo, now that the brand logo has been added, there will be a new button in the toolbar called Nadir. Tap it, turn it on. And here you can choose the size of your branding at the bottom of the 360 photo and tap apply to keep it there. If you want to check where your hotspots are in the tool, then you can tap the hotspots to quickly look at the hotspot you have added. To preview the tool before publishing it, go to the preview button in the toolbar and now you can tap through the tool and just check that everything looks okay. To publish your tool online, tap the sync button first and this will upload your virtual tool to the cloud. When the tool is synced, there will be a green icon next to the tool name and only then will you be allowed to tap the publish button.
Here, you can choose how zoomed in or zoomed out you want your tool to be. The default field of view is fine. There are three types of tools. A public tool is when the tool is discoverable by search engines and available to everyone. An unlisted tool is when the tool is only available to those users who have a direct link to the tool. And a password protected tool is when the user has to enter a password to see the tool. So select the option you prefer and tap publish tool. Here is your unique link to the tool and you can copy the link to send it to users to view your tool. Go to a web browser, paste the link and this is the result. And now you can tap through the tool to view it. Tap share to share the link to users on various platforms. If you want to embed the tool on your website, then tap embed on website. Here you can choose the aspect ratio of the tool, four by three or 16 by nine. Once you have chosen an aspect ratio, tap copy embed code, send this code to your developer and they will add this tool to your website to make the tool show up online. If you want to change the visibility of your tool, then go back, then under visibility, tap change, and you can change it here. Now let's say you want to update the tool. So for example, in the bathroom, I will add a new info spot somewhere here. and write service new towels every day. Tap add. To make this change show up on the live tour, tap sync and that's it. To add more tours to your plan, go back, go to settings, Manage subscription and here you can choose a plan that suits your needs. Clear Pano is a Best360 brand. The app is currently being beta tested. So if you want to become a tester or you want to learn about updates about the app, click the first link in the video description to clearpano.com, enter your first name and email address and I will send you updates when testing becomes available and when the app becomes available on the App Store. If you have any suggestions, feedbacks or improvements on what you've seen so far, let me know in the comments below and I will make a new video when I have an update.